Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla and I always love to talk about knit and crochet. And for today's podcast, I'm going to show you how you can combine both to make a garment. So it's a bit of a continuation to my last podcast where I show you how you can create a very beginner level cow using basic crochet stitches. So if you wanted to learn how to crochet, but you basically didn't know any of the stitches, it's a great little project because you can come out with a finished item. So in this podcast, I'm going to show you how you can add a knitted border to your cowl or to any crochet work. Now, I know you can recreate crochet ribbing with various different stitches and techniques, and I'm sure there's many podcasts out there that will show you how to do that. But I still love the look of a knitted ribbing. So K1 and Pearl 1, it just is quite neat and the stitch definition is really amazing. So why not do a knitted border with for your crochet garments? So the first I first encountered this in this um, crochet book, which is probably quite vintage, probably circa 1970s, and it had this really cool jumpers. Um, and I'm gonna give you an example of this one. So this one shows the v-neck and the cuffs as well as the bottom ribbing created by knitted and by knitting knit one pearl one border. So it was actually most of the um, garments in this crochet book required a knitted border. And I guess it's because um, it is quite a nice finish to your garment. So why not do that for your next time, for your next item? So in this little book, uh, podcast, I'm just gonna show you how you can easily pick up stitches in your crochet work and and start knitting guys it's very simple so you can do it with a I did I'm doing it with my crochet um shawl but I've also done the same thing with a jumper so you can see that the neckline is um crochet and it is just single back loop only type of um crochet edging it is quite nice there's nothing wrong with it i quite like it when it came to the edge of the jumper though which is a gorgeous jumper crochet jumper by the way using the linen stitch and it's called the confetti um sweater or pullover by sandra for no more stitches i'll put the link below other details below um so it turned out beautiful um i did some ribbing at the edge but i found that with the crochet edging was flaring a little bit for me so instead, I just picked up stitches and yeah, look, it's a knitted ribbing, very neat. So you can easily do it with any other garment and you have some the, the wonders of crochet as well as your knitting. So let's get started, guys. You will need some knitting needles, of course. I'm using my Addy Circulars. So let's get creative. So this is the cowl from last week and it's perfect. I love it. I love the crochet stitches, but I did want to add a little border. So in my last tutorial, I showed you how to make this very simple crochet shawl. In this week, I want to show you how to pick up the stitches. Now, the cowl, like you can do this with any garment, any crochet garment that you have. Now, how do we pick up stitches? Well, in this cowl, we have a border of single crochets. So we can just easily pick it up using the single crochet as our foundation. So these are the stitches here, I'll get a close up. This is my stitch right there. So you can see there's a V in our, in our crochet stitch right there. So let's just go from the back loop only and just start picking up stitches as easy as that. Now I'm planning to do um, a ribbing of uh, two by two, knit pearl, knit two, pearl two. So we have to make sure we've got even number of stitches. And just as that guy, as simple as that guys, we're already picking up our stitches. The needle that I'm using on my added lace and the circulars because I'm going to be working in the round. And you can see that we've left the front loop um, behind of that of those stitches, and it will look it look quite nice having that little edging right there. And I'm just going to continue up to the end of my cow, and I'll see you back there. 
Okay guys, so I picked up 90 stitches. And it was just as simple as that. So I've got my little marker here and I'm gonna join it around and I'm gonna use the magic loop method to start working in the round. This is that simple. And I will do maybe five rounds of neat. Need two pearl two to create a lovely border. Lovely border that is. <laughs> and um, yeah guys, so I think it's a great idea to mix knitting and crochet because they're both quite unique and they offer great, each of them has lots of advantages and obviously you can't recreate crochet stitches with knitting and vice versa. So why not do both in one garment? That would be great actually. So let me keep going and I will show you how my knitted ribbon looks in my Back to Basics cowl. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Doesn't it look, it look amazing? So you've got the beautiful crochet work with some created by some single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, some slip stitches are in there. So you've got amazing texture and why not finish it with um, a knit to pearl to border. I picked up 92 stitches in both ends, which worked out really nicely. And you can see that um, right here, you have the front loop of your single crochet and you actually picked up the stitches with your back loop only. And it's very neat guys, you couldn't really tell that there's no obvious um, seam line or I mean join line, everything looks quite nice. Obviously you can see this edging here, but I think it looks really cool. So yeah, you can easily create a knitted border. And as I showed you, that's with a cow and you can look that at the jumper again. Um, yeah, so this is a linen stitch and you can see I did a knit to pearl to border as well. So it's that easy guys. I hope you have found this helpful and you too can combine your love crochet and knit and create something unique. Catch you next time. Bye.